Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Miranda, and today we're going to be talking about my June TBR list, on the To Be Read list. So last month, quick recap, we read the Maximum Ride series and To Kill a Mockingbird. This month, I think I'm going to, I've been watching a lot of Harry Potter YouTube videos and trivia and theory, so I think I'm going to attempt to read the Harry Potter series. And then also these few books. I have The Perfect Storm. As you know, this is the movie with George Clooney with the ship that goes into the hurricane. I think it's 19... 1991, so it was the year I was born. So, I haven't actually watched the whole movie, so it's going to be an interesting read. I would started to kind of ponder into it, and the technology that they had in 1991 isn't quite like it has now, like where an airplane has the black box. So the guy actually is trying to take... He, the author said that you know he could go through and kind of figure out what would happen while he's there, but he wants to have it as honest as possible. So he's the broken up. But when we discuss it later, after I read it, we'll go through it all. And then another one I want to read is Jurassic Park. It's one of my favorite movies as a kid. Dinosaurs who can't. I mean, I just right now I'm thinking about the. Uh, the one guy with the, the raptor claw at the beginning so I'm excited to read that and then we also have the dead zone so when I was a kid I would watch the dead zone with my parents all the time and I actually got these last two books from my parents I actually got those the dress park and the dead zone from my parents they both were huge readers still are readers and basically trimmed down the books and I took a couple books that I could so those are kind of what I'm gonna be reading but really this Harry Potter series I have read it I've read the first one seven times but not the whole series seven times so every time a new book would come through I would reread it but now that I am older and there's more theories and stuff like that I think it would be more interesting to kind of go in it and see if I can kind of pick up some pieces that these other people did or maybe I can see something different so I'm really excited to do this reread I actually started, I'm not, I don't know what's going on, I don't know maybe if it's, I'm tired, but I really haven't been in the reading mood, so hopefully if I can just open up the Harry Potter books and kind of get through them, not like force myself to read them, but start going through them, because I was trying to read the Trident Canine Warriors, and I just, I know it's based more, you know, it's a um, fiction book. But I just wasn't able to get, like, absorbed into it. Granted, I didn't give it a lot of time. But I have this, like, feeling that I should actually read the Harry Potter book series. So I'm actually looking forward to that. I also have... So I also... Whoops. I also have a couple of um, more military books. So a code name, Camelot, was my most recent pickup at the Hope Chest. It's kind of like a Goodwill here. But it... It gets donated, proceeds get donated to Hope Hospice. So this is about a child who actually watches his parents in a murder-suicide and he suffers from not being able to feel emotions, so he mimics a lot of emotions that people have. And then he goes on to be a uh, United, Sol United States soldier, which is in the army. And he is how did, ex an excellent and exemplary soldier. But then it's, he's put to the test when there's murderous acts of a superior officer. So I thought that was a really... It sounds really interesting and I'm really interested to read it. And then, if time permits, I might even pick, uh, pick up and read Indestructible Dog. This takes back into World War II. It is based off of a um, Air Force pilot named Paul Irving Poppy Gunn. And he, he was taken forth in the... MacArthur's Armory, so I thought this would be a really cool read, so I picked that up, and I also, I was walking through Target a couple weeks back, and I found Stephen King's It. Now, I've never watched the movie, I'm not a big, when I was a kid, it was always like, Stephen King has scary movies, I watched Cujo, and that scared me so bad, I might actually go back through it and read Cujo, now that I, like, I'm older, I would understand it better, but I, I got scared of it, so I never watched It. So, it's kind of a daunting book for me because it's like almost 1,200 pages. And I've never read a book that big before. I also think I might try to... Where is it actually? I, 
I picked up a couple classics too, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and then A Tale of Two Cities. Now, I haven't really read a lot of classic books, so I don't know how I'll be able to do it because I know The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, the language that they use is a lot harder to read through. Like, you know, if you pick up Harry Potter, you can kind of, the, the language isn't that hard. J.K. Rowling's language, is, especially since it's a young adult book, it kind of goes through pretty quickly. Now, when I read, um, I read The Outsiders, and that took me a few pages, kind of used, used to the writing of that. And then when I read To Kill a Mockingbird, that took a curve as well. So I'm sure once I get used to it, I'll be able to pick it up a little bit better. But those are mainly, I want to try to get through at least maybe three Harry Potter books. I want to do Dead Zone, and I want to do Jurassic Park in the perfect storm. I'm very excited to read those. I will put my um, Goodreads, forgot the name for a second, Goodreads link in my description so you can kind of see the books that I'm reading currently and then you can see where I'm at reading them. And like I said, last week I said I was going to try to finish this. I got to, I think it was like one chapter in and I was kind of like, I don't feel like reading. So I haven't read in like a week. But I've also been extremely tired. But hopefully we will get back into the reading mood and we can kind of burn through some books. Alrighty guys, that's it for today's video. So if you enjoyed it, if you're looking forward to my progress this month, hit the like button, leave a comment. And again, if you have any books I, su I should read, I think someone suggested that I should read The Shack. It is in my, my books of looking into, I think I put it on Goodreads. If not, I put it in the notes on my phone. So put suggestions of what you think I should read in the comments below, and I will check them out as I start dwindling through my books, or if I see them at Goodwill or the Hope Chest. So have a great day, guys, and without further ado, 